Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Guitarist, where we demo everyday gear for everyday guitarists. Today we're talking about the ESP E2 Eclipse. First of all, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me continue to do these videos. Thanks. So I'm just going to kind of give my first impressions on this. Today I'm running the E2 directly into a JCM 2000 DSL, uh, right into my DAW. That's it. No pedals, nothing. And I'm just going to run through pickups and what I feel about it and kind of talk about it a little bit. Uh, I think it's a really good guitar. If you're looking for that kind of less poly thing with uh, some really cool modern features, I think this is an awesome option. Uh, so make sure you check it out and uh, let's get to the, to the sounds. Okay, so we're going to start on the clean channel on the uh, bridge pickup, and uh, this is what that sounds like. Here it is coil split. Um, I don't know, it's a good clean sound. I mean, for active pickups, I don't mind it. Uh, we're gonna go to the neck pickup now and uh, see what that sounds like. Here it is split. I think this is actually one of the strong points of this guitar. Uh, I'm usually not a fan of active pickups, but these are really good. Uh, and the neck pickup especially split I think sounds glorious. I'm a really big fan of it. So let's move on to the crunch channel of the JCM. Um, just like that, and we did it. Here we go. Uh, neck pick, uh, this is the bridge pickup. <laughs> Sounds great. I'm a huge fan of it. Honestly, like the JCM is a great amp too, and that's helping this a lot, be it a, a, a fun experience. Here it is, the coil split. Let's go to the neck pickup here. Uh, neck pickup uh, split, or wait, no, not split. Neck pickup, just the neck pickup. <laughs> Here it is split. Man, I love the neck pickup of this guitar. Okay, I know I get comments about me playing an A all the time, so I'm gonna move to a B minor. Uh, 
Um, honestly, the neck pickup, uh, especially on this Crunch channel, is a highlight of this guitar for me. I think it, uh, I think it's really, really good. And not only is it really good, I think it, it just sounds awesome. It's a, it's a really articulate pickup, especially uh, split. I think it sounds beautiful. So let's move on to uh, the drive channel here. Gains at like, I don't know, not even 11 o'clock. It's a DSL, you know what it's gonna sound like. It's rock and roll. Uh, obviously these pickups are really articulate being active pickups, and I really like that. So let's move on to the uh, split position uh, of the uh, bridge pickup. <laughs> so good on that neck pickup and I mean just to give you an idea it cleans up awesome like this Which, I mean, I know that EMGs get a bad rap, but this definitely cleans up. But if you hit it hard, you get that, and it's cool. Let's move on to OD2. I'm gonna actually go to drop D here. This is what this guitar is made for, so. That's it, you know? Uh, something that's really great about this is this heel here is genuinely amazing. It's the best thing about this guitar, honestly. There's no problem getting to those high frets. Uh, here's the bridge pickup split. There's 
the neck pick up. I can't play right now. that's really great about this guitar is it just plays effortlessly uh the fit and finish on it is absolutely spot on i mean esp always does a good job even on their ltd guitars but this is another level i mean it's better than any of the studios from gibson that i picked up in the last i don't know five to eight years uh the binding's beautiful super sharp the uh flame maple on this is gorgeous the fretwork is unbelievably good the nut is cut, cut perfectly uh, and everything about this guitar feels premium, and I mean, you can pick them up for under $1,000 if you look hard. This one I think I picked up for about nine eighty, dollars I think, uh, and it's just beautiful. Uh, it's kind of, kind of, it's going to kind of fill the role for solid body, Les Paul-esque guitar for me, and it's, it's hard to beat, you know? It's a really, really good guitar, uh, and I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, it has a really chunky C neck on it, which is really great. I was, really, you know, the ESPs usually have those kind of thin U's, and this feels like a Les Paul to me, and I really, really like that. Um, same with the frets, even though they're really big, it's effortless to play. It's super easy. A really, really simple guitar to play, which I love. It makes me not have to think about it because I sing and play often, and this is a really easy way for me to continue playing and just making it easy and not have to think about it. So overall, if you're looking for a really great Les Paul style guitar, uh, under, you know, $1,000, I think this is a fantastic, fantastic option. Check it out, the ESP E2.